Well, hey everyone, welcome back. It's Mom Dave, it's Talking Plastic, and I hope you entered, uh, enjoyed that little intro uh, thing. I, you know, I never really show the background of what I do here and how all this comes together. And maybe I, I'll do a full video of the studio set up down the road. I, maybe I'll do it when I do. Uh, I, I mentioned it in the last video, and uh, and one of the messages that I think I'm going to go ahead and do a full uh, collection uh, video again. You know from last year to this year and how much my, the, the set has grown or my collection has grown uh and uh you know just just so you guys can see and maybe i'll just show you kind of a little behind the scenes and how this all comes together i don't know if that'd be interesting or not you have to let me know in the uh, in the comments man so anyway today i have the common versions i already did the 10 inch uh neon city versions of godzilla and and king kong but these are the common versions and i'm sure there's you know <laughs> a lot of videos out there already of these but i have not done one so i'm going to do one and i hope you guys enjoy it uh maybe uh it'll still spark an interest to make you guys go buy these if, if you see something you know hey, man, i like that one for that reason or whatever that's what this is all about having fun and looking at these things anyway maybe you're like nope i don't want it <laughs> so anyway so today I, I i have the five i do not have mecha godzilla uh common i have the the um, which one was it was it a funko shop oh man my brain yeah i think it was a funko shop glow in the dark version where he's got the the, uh, the uh, red. Uh, bear with me, man. Early and it's early, so uh, thing and it's shooting out the beam out of his mouth. This one is the books a million exclusive, where it's the two together. And honestly, I'm not going to open this one because this these two are already in this individual set it's kind of like the mcdonald's where you had the five you can buy them and but you can get the mcdonald's sticker and you got the five in one box it's kind of why buy them <laughs> kind of thing you know if you really really want them though i guess i actually did i i really wanted the the books a million version so like i said i just brought it in because that's part of it and uh we're gonna go ahead and leave that over there because we're not gonna open that one so where do we start guys where do we start I guess we'll start with Godzilla since there's only two Godzillas, and I can't buy, uh, cover up the my box opener. You know, let's start with the regular, uh, the the one he's breathing, um, the heat ray. <laughs> Spit that out for you guys. Let a heat ray. Uh, I already have the glow in the dark. I showed you. Actually, you know what? Let me bring him over just to put him in the video. Hold on a second. I know I'm stepping out here for a second. But they're in my collection, so I figure I'll just bring them in too. So I have these two, and I've already done videos on these two. So you can definitely check that out in, in, in the channel somewhere. I don't know, it was like three or four videos ago. I don't don't quote me on that. Uh, lose track after all these videos. So these are the two exclusives, and I was very fortunate to get both of these, and I'm, and I'm excited to add those to my collection, just like the rest of them. Okay, so let's open this one up. This one's going to be obviously similar to the other one. The other one just glows in the dark. So, and I apologize, this might be a little longer video, guys, you know, with all this extra stuff that I'm doing in here. So, yeah, and my, my son had mentioned in, in one of the earlier videos that, you know, he was kind of, I don't know which way that goes, Godzilla's kind of chunky there. <laughs> a little thick, I'm going to have to put this on the floor because I'm not going to get all this on my desk here. And, uh, and again, yeah, this one, because so, it's so similar to the other one, there's really a, not a whole lot to add from the last time. I love this figure. I love the way they did it. I love the, you know, the heat ray. I love his, you know, his spine on the back, the way that's done. And like I said, it's because the reason I'm saying all this is because it's so similar to the other one. So yeah, he is really cool. I love the blue eyes. And, I, you know, he's, he's just awesome, man. I mean... These are, I mean, I keep, I, I didn't, I can't I didn't say, I keep saying it, but I said it in the other one. These are some of the amazing uh, pops. Now, I have actually not seen a Kong yet uh, in this size, so I'm kind of anxious to get to the Kongs. That's kind of one of the reasons I made it last, too. So let's take a look at this. My wife walked in, and it was funny. She said, Oh my God, they're so cute. <laughs> I said, Wait a minute, this is Kong and Godzilla. They ain't supposed to be cute, man. You know? But she thought they were cute. So, cute. Alright, so. There he is. He ain't breathing nothing there. He looks... He looks mad. Why is Godzilla always so mad? And he's got his spine as normal. 
because he's obviously not getting ready to breathe far or a heat ray and uh, yeah I, again wow uh, his head it, it's kind of odd that they did it that way but he's got like a real dark spot on the back of his head I guess I don't know if that's a where they put they, they seamed him together or something and it, and the colors were a little different maybe or is it supposed to be that way I guess it's kind of supposed to be that way you can definitely see there's a seam there so I am right about a seam where they put him together but then again up here I don't see a seam so that's I guess that's just the way they painted him and maybe it's because of this going down they wanted it dark I don't really know but all in all love it really love it actually I mean I, I love these this series here man I gotta find a place over here so it's just the Godzilla pops but then again well, I don't know where I'm gonna put these 10 inch ones at and I'm still trying to get and I may end up having to reorder it because I don't think I'm gonna get my pops from uh, from Walmart because we did that pre-order and then they canceled it or not really canceled put you on like a I don't know they said re I don't remember what it was off top of my head guys sorry uh, I'm not thinking right today you have those days i'm sure everybody has those days so now we're going to do kong with the battle uh battle scarred kong which is the one i actually like i think i, I think he looks cool with all the uh the, the cr cuts cuts across his chest there from godzilla uh, i'm not going to talk about the movie too much just in case i get a few of you guys that haven't seen it yet um let me put that down there so there he is battle scarred kong Man, that look odd. He's got his uh, crane ripped up. It looks like he's ready to. Man, he looks like he's ready about to bust somebody up in there. Look at that face. <laughs> he's got a you know. That looks cool. He is ready to beat somebody up. He is not happy. So yeah, he. Let's see how he stands. He stands really good. Um, looks really good. I, I just, like I said, I love that snarl. Really awesome snarl, man. That's that. That is a cool little pop. And I said, I always get to the end, man. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of anxious to go through and say, which one do you think is my favorite? I, I'm, I'm kind of get ahead of myself here. Try to move these down here out of the way. I need more shelves and more space in here, man, guys. And okay, so this is Battle Ready Kong. So this is basically before he's all scarred up here. He's getting ready to battle. So let's take a look here. Get him out of the box. Battle Ready Kong. Alright. Kind of looked funny there for a minute there. It looked like his head was deformed into plastic. Alright, so let's move him over here so I don't knock him over because I got a feeling. Okay, so now his eyes in this one are black and in this one he's orange and he's beating his chest, obviously. He's got that, uh, you know, I'm ready to, to tear up the world again. I'm going to beat everybody up. Yeah, that was one of the things I loved about like the Skull Island, too. That was really good. Well, done. at least I liked it. Some of you guys may have not. I, I enjoyed that movie. I thought it was really good. But this one, these two together, that was that was cool. I, I thought it was a really good movie. Very entertaining. Okay, so he is uh ain't much different. I mean he's just he's ready to ready to beat up somebody and tear stuff apart, man. What do you think? So far yeah, well man, for right there I thought he wasn't he's a little head heavy on the backside, but he looks like he's gonna stay up there with no problem. So we're gonna move him over here. We'll surround Godzilla with with Kongs. Now this is where it gets comes unfair. There's three Kongs to, to well then there's supposed to be a Me Mecha Godzilla here, but but that then I, I, I don't want to say it because I don't want to spoil the movie. I'll leave that alone just in case you guys don't know. Um, I will eventually pick that one up. I just I just haven't gotten around to buying that one yet. Oh, I was talking about the 10 inch. I still need a 10 inch uh, Kong. I haven't gotten him yet. So I may have to go to like a Entertainment Earth or something if I can get him from there. Oh, his head moves real good. There you go. This is where he grabs his axe. And again, I won't give away anything for the movie and why he has this axe and what this, what's the significance of the axe. But uh, again, now he's back to orange eyes. And he yeah, does he have his scars? Yeah, he's got the scars. It looks a little more healed on his scars. You know what the funny thing is? is let me see. His scar pattern is different. Let me take a better look here. Examination time, guys. Yeah, he's got like just three going across where this one looks like he's got three and then three the other way where he was grabbed by, uh, by uh, or scratched by uh, Godzilla. That looks good. I, I like this one better because of the, the scratches are deeper. 
but I like this one a lot because he's got his battle axe and he's ready to, you know, oh, he's got a, yeah, he's got him on that one too. So his nose has got uh, scratches across it, both in a similar position. That's cool. Now on the other one, does he have, yeah, on this one, he's got the scars across his nose too. And, oh yeah, and then he does have the same, right, yep, he's got the same scars going across his chest down into the body. Very, very similar. It looks like it might even be the same body with just different arms. Are the arms added in later, or is that way it was formed? I uh, can't tell. So, anyway, all in all, it's still really cool. I like the I like the orange eyes a little bit better. And I'm wondering why they, maybe it's because they make them look matter. They didn't, it's like an eyelid. They didn't go all the way down with the, you know, the circle. Uh, I'm sure it's showing up in the pictures there so you guys can see that. Um, so... At the end of each video, as I always do, one of the things I love to do is say which one I love the most out of the grouping. And it's it's a tough one, man. I, if I have to say which one is my favorite out of all these, it's going to have to be Godzilla with the, with the heat ray. I still love that one. I love the blue going down his back. I love the blue heat ray. And I love his eyes being blue. Now, if I had to just eliminate Godzilla altogether and I had to pick a Kong, uh, I'm going to have to go with the Snarling Kong here. This one, I, I really like the Snarl. And uh, he just looks like he has just, you know, he's been at it and ready to go and tear some more stuff up, man. <laughs> so that's my two favorites out of it. I guess this is my favorite, but it, and if it's just Kongs, it's Kong here. So you guys will have to let me know what you think is your or which one you like the best. Did you guys collect the comments? So obviously these are still available. Any you can get them anywhere. Um, which one's your favorite? Why? Uh, so you have to let me know. Also, you guys again, I'll, I'll just hit hit back on hit back on that. Uh, let me know if you guys are interested in seeing me a little bit of a if I do the full collection, uh, seeing a little bit of what goes on behind the scenes kind of thing. Uh, and I don't think I've ever done that. Um, so I don't know if that's interesting or not. So you have to let me know. Uh, so I guess I will end it there. It was actually not as long as I thought. I kind of kind of went through these pretty quickly. It's commons and I didn't want to get into the movie at all. So I didn't want to spoil anything for you guys. Well, I will let you guys get back to your day. Uh, I appreciate you as always joining me and, and watching these videos. I really appreciate it. I love making them. And uh, again, as always, if you loved it, you got something out of it, give me a thumbs up. It's, it's definitely helping. And uh, if you're new, think about subscribing. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Thanks for joining me. Truly appreciate it.